Today, the trial of Mandy Ben continued in Ionia County. She's accused of driving under the influence and plowing into a group of Make-A-Wish cyclists in the summer of 2022, killing two of them and leaving three others hurt. She kept closing her eyes, um, kind of nodding her head down, leaning on the countertop like this. Um, really wasn't coherent. Like she would answer a few questions when I was asking her how much gas and then she'd go right back to leaning. Today, a woman who worked at a gas station discussed Ben's behavior when she came in that day. Police say the morning of July 30th, she crossed the center line to try and pass a UPS vehicle and hit the bicyclist. Michael Salhaney and Edward Erickson did not survive. Officials say toxicology reports showed Ben had a number of narcotics in her system at the time. That gas station worker was one of several witnesses called to the stand today. We also heard from the state trooper who took Ben into custody following a different incident back in 2017 after a call about someone driving through cornfields and ending up at a resident's home. That trooper testified he had suspected she had been under the influence at that time. At that time, she uh, was uh, seemingly lethargic, uh, slow to respond. Um, when she would respond, it would be, I would ha often have to ask again for her to repeat what she had said because her speech was slurred. Um, she, when she would blink, I noticed, especially in the direct sunlight that morning, is uh, that her pupils wouldn't change or have much of an effect. Ben is facing more than a dozen charges connected to last year's crash. That's including second degree murder and operating under the influence causing death. If convicted, she could f spend life behind bars. That trial resumes tomorrow morning.